WasteQuip's Galbraith brand loaded container handler, or LCH, provides safe transport of loaded containers at highway speeds. Dual rails that allow the container to sit level on the chassis and a center of gravity in front of the rear axles enables safe transport of loaded containers. Have some space on your desk for a little knick-knack? How about a cute plexiglass cube of real New York City garbage? It's yours if you want it. And so is this week's Curbside Live. Hello, I'm Waste and Recycling News Web Coordinator Maria Kirch. More on New York's hottest souvenir in a bit. But first, additional details on the merger that still has the industry buzzing. Waste Management's $425 million purchase of Oakleaf. Waste and Recycling News senior reporter Jim Johnson scored an exclusive interview with both company CEOs. He's on the phone ready to share some insight. Jim, why didn't Waste Management make this deal? Waste Management made the deal because they wanted to extend their reach into the marketplace. They're looking for additional tonnage to move into their recycling, waste to energy, and disposal markets. And the addition of Oakleaf brings approximately 5 million tons of new waste into their facilities. And what's this going to mean for everyone else? Oakleaf CEO Steve Preston thinks that this $425 million deal could be transformative for the industry. It's really the first time that a major player in the solid waste industry is teaming up with uh, a brokerage company of this size, and it could signal a change of how trash companies view brokerages and how they deal with them. Thanks, Jim. In other news, with e-waste becoming an issue for more and more consumers, several electronics companies, including Sprint and Dell, are starting to look at the end of their products' lives before they're even born. Both are designing and engineering their new gadgets with recycling in mind. Sprint has released four phones they label as eco-friendly, including the Samsung Replenish, which has been stripped of toxic flame retardants and some of the hazardous materials and metals found in other cell phones. Dell has taken its designers and engineers through e-waste recycling facilities so they can see what happens when their products move into the afterlife. Finally, about that New York City garbage. Justin Gignett collects rubbish off the streets at the Big Apple. Dry garbage only. He says he's squeamish. He places the trash in plexiglass cubes and then, well, let's let Justin tell us what he does next. I, I put the garbage in and I carefully arrange it so it looks interesting and then I put a, the label in it says garbage of New York City and then I use a solvent that seals the, the cube shut so the only way to get in is if you actually physically break it um, and then I put a sticker on top of the date the garbage was picked and then I sign a number each one on the bottom. And then he charges $50 for them. Rare cubes with historical garbage Opening day at the Mets ballpark, for example, fetch $100 each. Don't laugh, Gignac has sold more than 1,300 cubes. If you have $50 you'd like to dispose of, visit nycgarbage.com. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week at the curb.